Super Spears Brothers. Okay. Drunk and stupid. Let's do this race. Um. Oh, here's. I'm just gonna add. Oh, that looks very fashion. Intense. Oh. <laughs> You're upsetting, so. Actually, I should let you just sort of stop. Octorok spit! What? Oh, Octorok spit. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know the way out of this level. Keeblers! There's no Keeblers in that rap. Good start. Oh, wait, this guy drops bubbles. That's his thing. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just doing this as a tester to see what the model is. Alright, fair enough. Oh, there's multiple laps in the song, that's the weird thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta go really fast and know where those bubbles are gonna get dropped, because mm -hmm. when the bubbles when the bubbles get dropped, yo, it's gonna, gonna drop it where it's hot. Yike, yike, yike. Yike? Yike? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I stopped paying attention for half a second. Yeah, and I stopped, lo I, I lost all coherence. <laughs> I hate his ha ha ha, though. It I hate is... everything about this guy. I decided I don't like any of the bosses but the dragon. The dragon's pretty great. The dragon's the rubicant of this game. What? Rubicant? Do you not remember? Was it Flame? I will show you how. Oh, yeah, right. For those who don't know the reference, was it Flame? I will show you how. We don't like you. <laughs> you are not our friend. Do you want to switch to Pipsy Doodle? Uh, I'm going to keep trying this game. Around. He's, uh, you know what? He was way ahead of you, but you seem to have caught up rather quickly. No. Maybe this guy's top speed is actually a bonus or benefit. That's good. Okay. I think if I hit one of those, I'm just gonna lose. Yeah, so. I don't think there's. You know, I think he's not that hard compared to the guy that we just spent like hours I, trying to beat. Yeah, I remember the, the wall was being the hardest boss. Yeah. Like Doctor. by a significant margin. Hello, I'm Dr. Walrus Titty, and I'm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dr. Walrus Titty? Character from Final, from Final Fantasy. Monty Python, I need sleep! <laughs> <laughs> one hour seven of playing Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> So I'm gonna do like this a couple more times, and then I think I'm just gonna try and beat some uh, more coin levels. What, you're not gonna try this for half an hour? Nah. I don't feel like we've really given this one our fair shake yet, though. No. Really, we gotta try. We gotta do a fair shake on it. Sh shake, everybody, shake. Everybody shake. Shake, shake, rattle, and fail. Um, do you know shake, rattle, and roll apparently is sexually explicit in the original version? Really? Yeah, cause they, they cause it's get, it's get out of that kitchen, rattle them pots and pans, right? You know, yeah. it sounds all right. All right, and then it's like shake, rattle, and roll. But then it's something like I'm gonna like shake till shake you. I'm gonna sh uh, shake you till I'm done, or like when I'm finished. There's something about grunting or something like. It's really like, it's really like sexually explicit in the original version. I mean, it's you know compared to songs of that era. I'm yeah. not gonna say that it's that he's sexually like, explicit compared to like tonight I'm fucking you. <laughs> tonight I'm gonna fuck your face <laughs> until your face is red. You're gone. Not to enjoy the fact that my clitoris is so long. I decided to finally go with um, vaginal rape because I'm tired of penis rape. Yeah. Penis penis rape jokes are are so 1994. <laughs> vaginal um, rape joke is what. Vaginal at. rape jokes are where it's at. And not 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 like you know it's like somebody you know a guy who's overpowered or a guy who's drunk you know and and or the the woman like goads him into it. I'm talking about like she's just got like this massively powerful vagina. Yeah. That's so powerful that like it just. It's like a black hole. It's like a. It's. All right, sorry, I didn't bring race into it. <laughs> it's yeah. Let's not bring race into it. It's like a yellow hole. Yeah. It's like it's, it's like, like a, a yellow sideways. It's like her brown dwarf. <laughs> God. <laughs> hey, quick question. I think you know this already. Yeah. Brown dwarf stars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I know where you're going. Um. Uh. Can you put your? Could you put your hand in a brown dwarf star? Not really, because it would still be really hot. They're, they're but, very far away. Well, yes. So no. Yeah, just, no, you can't. They're too far away to do that. Well, if you're just, near I'm just asking one. whether there was. No, of course we're not near one. We'll never be near one. God, deep be. space travel is impossible. We just, there'll never be the technology. We're never going into deep space. It's not going to happen. Warp, mean warp, to my sadness. warp technology maybe may work on a very deep philosophically, like you know, potential level, but it's never actually going to happen. We're never going to develop it before global warming, warfare, and disease eventually kills off of the human race. And those goddamn cucumbers. And those goddamn cucumbers. I can't trust cucumbers. You know why? Because you did well there. Because I did well, though, and I was thinking about cucumbers. Stick your hand down a brown dwarf star, what happens? Uh, your hand boils off. 
it's 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 about the same temperature as boiling water. Exactly. That's so, the point I was making. So if you put your hand into like some cold water first, mm -hmm. like like you do with like say liquid nitrogen, for yeah. example. And then suck your hand into a brown dwarf star, assuming that the uh, oh. gravitational forces of a brown dwarf star, even at that size, wouldn't like you know, tear you apart much earlier than that. It would. Um, assuming that you could travel to a brown dwarf star, which we, as I've already clarified here for anyone what who What if once it had drifted into the neighborhood? Like, you know, sort of driving well, down on, like, in, in its Corvette with the sunroof down. Alright, well, that. <laughs> Why would that have a sunroof? <laughs> it, it, it is a sun. <laughs> Honestly, what's the definition of a sonic? I don't question that it would have a Corvette. <laughs> That's reasonable. Oh, yeah, no. Corvettes are the universal car. <laughs> the cosmological car. The, 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 they're popular in Cosmo, and by Cosmo, I mean... The alcoholic drink? No, I, I mean Kramer. Oh, okay. Which is... Kramer exists in all dimensions and all worlds. Mm -hmm. See, he's not that fast. If you just don't do uh, stupid shit. Even then, like, I was... Got closer before... I, I've caught up to him from farther back. I wonder if he gets faster in the last lap. That would be one way to, like, make you angry. Yeah, this game likes that. Uh, uh, th th uh, your timing on that bubble is just incredible. Look, look, this boss is much easier than that. This guy. is so much easier. It's, it's ludicrous, actually. I actually don't think he's even harder than the first time you fight him. No. He well, no, because he drops more bubbles. That's his thing now. Yeah, 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 sure. But, of course, maybe you're in the right vehicle. Maybe we've been in the wrong vehicle this whole time. Well, Maybe you're really a conker. Maybe no. you're not really a Pipsy Doodle. That sounds wrong to me. <laughs> maybe you're... Maybe, maybe... Pipsy Doodle's dandy. Well, Yankee Doodle came to town, Yankee Doodle dandy. Oh, yeah, look at this. this is look so, at this. Look, just turn off the engine. Turn it off. I'm not even... Look at that. We, we spent 40 uh, minutes trying I'm to get it back so casually. Didn't even try. Didn't That's, even try. Hey, anyone, anyone who wants to beat this guy, apparently he's... Um, he is a vagina, and I, yeah. but, but I don't mean weak. I mean that he's uh, inviting... Shooting bubbles at us at all times. <laughs> that's right. Look, that's actually a really fun thing to do with your vagina, actually. If you dip some bubble liquid in there... and then you I'm get always the... blowing bubbles. And that then... guy is hot. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking fool. I don't yeah, I was thinking that exact guy. I've never actually seen Trailer Park Boys, which as a Canadian who's interested in television... Is wrong on several fundamental levels. I know some people that think it's really clever and funny. Um, uh, Brand, uh, perhaps it is, but I'm not I've never interested. given it the chance. Uh, maybe if I give it the chance, I like it. But so, hey, uh, guys, the title of this episode is "How We Feel About Trailer Park Boys," the television series. <laughs> it feels like it's much later than it is, and that we've been doing this longer than we have. I think I'm just so giddy from playing that boss. It feels like we've been doing this. I've been doing this way too long. Look uh, how upsetting this pig face is. I'm mostly flesh! But partially not. <laughs> oh god, he can see down his throat. Um, he does have a deep throat. Yeah. Um, now, He's just uh, betraying uh, Nixon all over the place. I see, I wasn't sure if it, we were going for a Nixon thing, or like, what was the uh, first... Well, what's um, her name? Lovelace. Oh yeah, who was uh, coerced into that? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Oh, she said different things at different times. Yeah, I, I, I would go with coerced, though. Yeah, well, she was manipulated. She didn't know what she was getting into, really. Oh. Was the, what she sort of is the consensus. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, she wouldn't be the only person who didn't know they were in porn. By the way, Brendan, um, there's something I need for me to tell you. Yeah? You've got a lovely face. Oh, thank you. Really is it nice. good for porn? Uh, no. Surprisingly, <laughs> it's lacking in abrasions, scars, <laughs> and um, tattoos. Okay, you know what? Uh, Tip is Tipsy Doodle going to be better for, for yeah, things that are not um, hovercrafts? There hovercrafts? was a hovercraft level in this, so I'm going to go to the lobby. Do, yeah, do the hovercraft level. Which one's the hovercraft level? I don't know, it's the one that's... Windmill, I'm, not I, windmill. If windmill sounds like... Windmill, probably windmill. Oh, haunted wolves... W wolves? Haunted wolves! Oh god! No, oh god! I don't want my wolves to be haunted! <laughs> that's worse than werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, the, this is the one with the drawbridge and shit. It doesn't just have shit. Drawbridge and shit. And to say that was exclusively <laughs> shit is that that's one of the many things it has. I didn't say you didn't say that. Oh, okay. I just was. I thought, yeah, I thought you were upset. No, I was clarifying for the audience who are oh, mostly okay. stupid people. That's true. Hey, <laughs> audience, you're stupid and we don't respect you. No, I respect them. Really? What's wrong with you? Um, <laughs> but I think the audience knows. They're pretty smart. Oh, okay. They're way too smart to be fooled by simple minded <laughs> compliments. Uh, which way do I go? No, I think you up. have to go both ways. I think so. That's gonna be my new um, pop song. You gotta go both ways. <laughs> God, everyone got screwed up on that one. Um, w w 
I'm gonna get George Michael to sing it. There you you go. gotta go both ways. You gotta go both ways. If oh no, that's this is that's, that's the last coin right there. Yeah. So you so, don't gotta go both ways. You know, you only have to go the one. So no. make your decision and stick to <laughs> it. That's right. You only gotta go one way. You gotta go one way. I'm a calico cat. I turn into a duck. I'm a monster. Do you know anything about George Michael? I think he's Christian. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Doesn't probably sing that much about going both ways. Well, he was gay. Oh well, yeah, but but Christian Christian gay people stick to that. Yeah. Stick to that. And Christian gay people aren't necessarily bisexual, I guess. No, that's that's an unfair well, stereotype. Well, all Christians are gay. I mean, they they love Christ after they all. They love Christ. Yeah. Well, unless they're a woman, I unless guess. Unless they're a woman, in which case they're necrophiliac. Yeah, that's right. Whereas if they're if they're a male, I tended to go almost, for the key, but that's stupid. Because <laughs> that, if you get the key in this one, it pretty much means you've given up on running the race. Yeah, and you just got all the coins, and you're yeah. way ahead of the pack. Way no, ahead. I'm a couple times. Oh well, then fuck it, go for it. It's too late. <laughs> no, it's never too late. Never just too late to die. Just turn around, because you know what, Casper? Casper, you gotta go both ways. You gotta go <laughs> both ways. I'm gonna make that my my um, bedtime song for my son. You gotta go both ways. <laughs> Oh man, the Christian conservative right would hate that. I don't mean a sleepy by song. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next time I'm gonna come back as a mouse. <laughs>